Voters in Broadwater County have narrowly approved a public safety levy to help fund the Sheriff's Office and Detention Center. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian talked to the Sheriff about what this additional support will mean for law enforcement in Broadwater County. Broadwater County Sheriff Wynn Meehan says he was gratified when he saw the final vote totals on the public safety levy. For us, I think it was a huge stress relief. I know I felt a lot of appreciation to the community for supporting it. I know it's hard to, to do a self-tax upon yourself. I get it, but I was glad we got the support and it passed. In the end, the five-year levy was approved with just over 51% of votes in favor of it. The measure will raise about $704,000 each year. Meehan says without that money, his office would have to begin cutting staff positions. A large portion of the sheriff's budget has come from revenue for holding other county's inmates in the Broadwater County Jail. Much of that revenue will be going away once Lewis and Clark County finishes its own jail expansion project. This stops that. We don't have to use that as a 46% of our revenue for funding public safety. Since the levy campaign began, the sheriff's office has lost one patrol deputy, two detention center staff, and one dispatcher. And they haven't refilled those positions because of the uncertainty around funding. Now they're able to begin rehiring for those positions. So basically it's going to take us back to the level of manpower we had when we started this endeavor. Meehan has been talking about the challenges of providing law enforcement services with limited resources for years, particularly after Deputy Mason Moore was killed in 2017. The office has taken other steps to support those services. Meehan says they received a federal grant that will pay part of the cost to add two new deputies serving the southern tip of Broadwater County near Three Forks. I think we're, we're feeling a lot better about our mission and our ability to, to meet our mission and objectives. In Townsend, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. Broadwater County has put together a citizen's advisory board to look at the sheriff's office budget, and Meehan says they will work with the board in the next few years to determine if they need to continue this levy, decrease it, or let it expire.